Hello guys, I welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives uh, in this platform. We shall be focusing on the question on derivatives, um, basically for mathematics and for they can ask a certain question like this, but it cannot be all for mathematics and for it can be for so many levels, but uh, particularly mathematics and for uh, uh, that is how they can ask these questions. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that you shall be having from Mason African Motives uh, working on questions and revision from past exam papers. So um, we are given to differentiate y is equal to square root of sec x using chain rule. Okay, we know that chain rule is function of function and we have got four marks for that. So we want to see with the number of marks that we are given and uh, what we are supposed to apply there is it going to correspond guys is it going to actually correspond or not okay we actually know that um for you to apply the chain rule it is supposed to be the formula dy x is equivalent to dy d du multiplied by du dx that is a uh, the chain rule or the function of function where you have to let um, the part okay you it depends with the condition that you have in this case let me rewrite this condition in this format as sec x like this we know that square root is the same as to the exponent of a half from our laws of exponents so if you are to cross check i can let this sec x be equivalent to you because I'm having du here, I'm also having du x. So that means I'm going to let u be equivalent to sec x. Okay, the moment I let u be equivalent to sec x, it means this part here is going to be written as y is equivalent to u to the exponent of a half like that take note because in place of sec x you have represented with u so you're going to be having u to the exponent of a half all right now from this part here that you're having i want you to see something if i let u be equivalent to sec x i'm going to find the derivative here of u because i need du dx so i'm going to find u with respect to x remember guys when you differentiate sec it gives us sec x tan x all right so this is the derivative that you're having the same thing when we introduce this y is equal to u to the exponent of f as you can see this is now a statement of u which we having is which is also having a y there so it's y that is a and u so you've written y is equal to u to the exponent of half you've made y to be the subject there so which means you can find dy d du from this part here so what are you going to have from dy du all right just a normal derivative guys we know that you're going to multiply then subtract a one there so it's going to be half u to the exponent if you subtract half minus one from your calculator that's a negative half all right and what does this part actually mean when you are given uh, this is half u to the exponent of negative half you can actually write this as a um, remember to the exponent of negative half from our laws of exponents is going to be one over but there is a one over two which is there so you're going to have one over two by one over u to the exponent of a half all right which is going to give us, if you multiply these two, you're going to obtain one. If you multiply these two, remember u to the exponent of a half is the square root. So it's going to be two square root of u. That's what you're going to obtain. But if we are to cross check now, if we are to replace this now, we are having dy dx, which is equivalent to dy du, Okay, this is your dy du, the one that you are calculating here, which gave us 1 over 2 square root of u. Okay, I'm coming to you guys here. I'm coming. Let me just write. I'm coming to that part. Multiply by du dx. Okay, we found du dx here from this part. Okay, so let's write it. It's sec x 
turn x like this all right but now guys if you are to cross check from this question that we are having it's y with respect to x so it's supposed to be something that has x throughout but here we are now having a u so what are you going to do we are now going back here where we say it, let u be equal to sec x at this condition here where we said let u be equal to sec x so it's going to be divide x is equal to 1 over 2 square root of u which is this u which is sec x okay multiply by sec x tan x everything over 1 so that you can combine the two divide x will be equal to if you combine you can multiply the numerator together the denominators together okay so if you multiply this and this you are going to obtain the sec x tan x all right sec x tan x everything over you multiply uh, these two together that's one by this which is going to give you two square root of sec x so this one is not going to change so it's just two square root of sec x like that